Knocklong Railway Station is famous as the place where Tipperary IRA man Sean Hogan was rescued from police custody in May 1919. Sadly, the station closed in 1977 and it is now a derelict waste ground. The people of Knocklong aim to restore the station, turning it into a place where the local community can relax and play and where the War of Independence in Munster is commemorated. Knocklong Railway Station opened its gates in 1849. Located on the Dublin Cork Line, one of the busiest railway lines in the country, it was operated by the Great Southern and Western Railway Company. The Station Master's House, a beautiful cut stone building, was opened at the same time or soon afterwards. The railway allowed people and goods to travel faster and cheaper than ever before. It contributed to the economic development of Maclong. The Maypole Dairy Company established a creamery in the village, and Harris's Hotel provided accommodation for weary travellers. The railway also added to the social life of the area, with dances in the village attracting people from many miles away. The railway in Ireland was at its height in the 1920s. The rise of the motor car, however, detrimental. With more and more people and goods travelling by road, railway traffic declined. Beginning in the 1950s, many railway lines were closed down. In 1977, Knock Long Station was shut down. This began a period of decline in the village's fortunes. In 2013, the Knocklong Development Association unveiled its Plan for Knocklong, a scheme for development and investment in the village until 2020. The plan identified the redevelopment of the disused railway station as one of its capital development projects. When it is finished, the revitalised railway station will have facilities for the local community and for visitors. For the local community, the railway station will have a community office where meetings can take place. Nearly 7,000 square metres will be given over to a community park. A garden and a woodland area will boast many varieties of plants, shrubs and trees. Allotments will be created too. A playground for children will also be provided, as will a men's shed where a model railway will be constructed. For the local community and for visitors, the railway station will also act as a site for commemorating the War of Independence in Munster. The ticket office, waiting room and station master's living room will be restored to the condition they enjoyed around the time of Sean Hogan's rescue. A contemplative space in the garden will remember the rescue and the other events in Munster during the 1919-1921 war. A luxury self-catering short-stay apartment on the first floor of the station master's house will allow visitors to immerse themselves in this unique location. The Knocklong Railway project will play a significant role in the revitalisation of Knocklong village, with attractions and facilities for the local community and for visitors it will contribute socially, culturally and economically to the area. It is an ambitious project. We hope you will help us. For further information on the Knocklong Railway project, please go to knocklong.net.